It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll be looking at net new highs, a simple breadth indicator used to determine the bullishness or bearishness of a particular stock market index. Without further ado, let's get started. The calculation for net new highs is very simple. After selecting an index, simply take the number of stocks reaching a new 52-week high on that day and subtract the number of stocks hitting a new 52-week low on that day. The result is net new highs. This number can then be used in the calculation of cumulative net new highs, which is equal to the prior cumulative net new highs plus the current day's net new highs. This value will depend on the starting date of the calculation and provides a running total of net new highs. On this table, you can see net new highs in action. The starting date here is April 22, 2010, and the number of new 52-week highs on the NASDAQ, the index being evaluated, that week was 297. The number of new 52-week lows was 9. Subtracting 9 from 297 yields 288 net new highs. Since this is the first date of our calculation, this is also the cumulative net new highs. The next day, April 23, 2010, there were 348 new 52-week highs and 7 new 52-week lows. This yields a net new highs of 341 and a cumulative net new highs of 629 since 341 is added to the previous day's total of 297. Here we have cumulative net new highs plotted on a graph. The shape and direction of the line are important, not the actual number, which is dependent upon the starting date of the calculation. If we selected a different starting date, the numbers would be totally different, but the shape and direction of the line would be the same. In general, positive net new highs are considered bullish and negative net new highs are considered bearish. But a better way of using this statistic is by combining cumulative net new highs with a moving average of cumulative net new highs. When cumulative net new highs falls below the moving average, that's bearish. When cumulative net new highs pierce up and through the moving average, that's bullish. We'll take a look at an example on the next slide. On this chart, the cumulative net new highs of the NASDAQ are represented by a red line, while the 10-day moving average of the cumulative net new highs is marked in blue. As you can see, up through point A, the cumulative net new highs rode their moving average line higher, but then fell through it at point A. This downturn was confirmed by several days of negative trading where the cumulative net new highs continued to fall in comparison to the moving average. Then, starting at point B, cumulative net new highs briefly exceeded its MA a few times but never confirmed until point C. From there, the stock has a minor surge before there is a bearish turn at point D that turns into quite a doozy. You can use net new highs at stockcharts.com, but the process is somewhat complicated. First, you need to enter the ticker for the index in the symbol box in the upper left. Then go to the indicators section and choose price. Then enter the symbol for net new highs in the parameters box. These symbols are provided on the following slide. Next, select where you want to position the indicator plot, above, below, or behind. In our examples, we've done below. And finally, select area for the style. Click update to see the results. Here is a list of ticker symbols for the net new highs of the three major indices in the U.S. Now instructions for getting the cumulative net new highs line and its moving average. First go to stockcharts.com and enter the index's net new highs ticker from the previous slide. Select cumulative for plot style as shown. Then make sure log scale is not selected. Third, choose price as an indicator and enter dollar sign NYA if you're doing the New York Stock Exchange dollar sign IXIC for the NASDAQ, or dollar sign XAX for the American Stock Exchange. Included here is an example. It is a bit confusing, but should be worth it. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit firsthourtrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off.
view more Trading Tips videos, visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.